Hey everyone, tonight we are at Vuk Monument here in Belgrade, Serbia, and I'm gonna show you what no other YouTuber has shown on YouTube before. Below uh, the Vuk Monument train station, there's a secret entrance. First time I saw down there, I was like, what the F is going on here? I first discovered this place just walking around Belgrade and you know, it looks like a normal train station. You get down here and it looks all right. Like nothing looks amiss. But you have to go down another level. And when you do that, there's some secret doors down here. You'll see there's a secret location that no one has ever showed you before. There's a, an abandoned cafe. I think only the train station employees uh, use. There's, I think, a police station in here. But if you come through here and you go through these doors, oh, I can already smell the piss. You come, you come through here. It's like an abandoned underground shopping mall with rooms full of computers. Some of these places are still open during the day, but I've been down here during the day too, and uh, <laughs> it, almost everything is still closed. There's all this graffiti and weird, just weird stuff that doesn't really make sense. It doesn't look like this place has been taken care of very well. But that's the cool thing about Belgrade is you'll see these really beautiful areas, and then you'll see these really weird, scary areas. That's why I like living here, because, you know, if you're in America or something, you could get stabbed down here, or your wallet taken. I'm gonna show you how safe Serbia is. I'll put my, my money where my mouth is. So if you look over there, you'll see that there's no security gate and there's tools all around. We're here at Cybershark, and there's a whole bunch of gaming going on here with a whole bunch of expensive uh, computers. Uh, if you want uh, the Google Maps location, it's called uh, KGB Underground. Uh, cyber cafes still exist, believe it or not, in, in Serbia. If we look in the window, we can see the gamers. I think there used to be a, a pizza place. Would you eat the food down here? I would, I did. It wasn't great, but it didn't make me sick. It was like the cheapest slice of pizza in Serbia, but unfortunately they went out of business. Here's a Billard's place. It's called Arcade Games. It's part of the Arcade Shark, Cyber Shark brand. Back in the 90s, there used to be more of a community with computing because we didn't have Apple iPhones and Android phones and people actually had to build their own computers. We actually had to meet up in person and it was a cool hangout place, but the only remnants of those are these cyber gaming places where gamers go and they hang out together. Everyone can kind of afford their own gaming computers now. But the reason why you would go to a place like Cybershark uh, at the KGP Underground in Belgrade is to hang out with like-minded individuals. And that's what's like really missing in our society these days is kids leaving their house. This is a new one. This looks like a table games place. It's called uh, GamesCon Hub Underground. They have board games, VR, allegedly airsoft. Uh, this is actually the KGB Esports. If we look in the window over here. Now, if you're under 21, you would probably come down here and hang out with your friends. Uh, down by Kinesmi Hilo, uh, there is, are some stairs to the underground there, the underground passage. And as you come up those stairs, there are, there's something called Cyber Cafe. It says, or Internet Cafe, and it has arrows, and it's pointing to like a non-existent business. But I thought that was like a really cool, like historical remnants of uh, the cyberdelia uh, of, of, of the world. If we come over here, to these stairs. These stairs will lead up to the street. Uh, the train station is not the only entrance to this underground. There's probably about three entrances. It smells very scary too. It's not dangerous. I have my wallet with my cards out in front of my face. And as you can see, everything is perfectly safe. There's not a lot going here today, but in the 90s, this place was probably like really hot. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tour. I know it's kind of a, a weird, never done before video, but I wanted to I always show this uh, for like a year since I found it. Please like and subscribe. Thanks so much. And I'll see you in the next video.